Okay, hello everyone. It is still a very hard time because of the COVID-19 and it's another day staying at home, avoid any unnecessary outdoor activities. It's a really a pity because the weather is really good outside, the, the sun is very shiny and the weather is, is not cold anymore. But I don't want to tell Rick to go outdoors. So today I will still uh, study at home and I want to share the paper I read uh, yesterday. It is a, a new published paper. It is not published formally, but the idea is really interesting. So I would like to have a review at, at first. The paper is called Intention Propagation for Multi-Engine Reinforcement Learning. Uh, it is very interesting paper and the idea is very creative. That's why I want to have a review on it, although it is, has not been published formally. Just like before, today I will decompose the presentation into two parts. The first part is the motivation, and the other is the methodology. First, let's come to the motivation. The research problem is, uh, is, is essentially a collaborative multi-engine reinforcement learning problem. Nowadays, there is a surge of interest in solving such a problem. As you can see, no matter in the transportation network, where um, multiple intersections are needed to control uh, at, at the same time, or a computer network to, uh, to control to uh, to load the data and transmit the data at the same time. They all need to uh, cooperate with each other to boost the efficiency of the whole network. So it is a very uh, useful application in, uh, in the problem. And the most common solutions to solve this problem in multi-engine reinforcement learning is the joint policy approaches. So what is the joint policy? Actually, in, in, if you want to uh, implement joint policy, the engine's observation may interact with each other or, or the action may, in, may affect each other. So when you want to uh, control a certain intersection in a traffic network, you need to consider the observations of another network from another networks or the actions from another network so you can make near near global optimal solutions. Otherwise you you you, you only implement local optimal solution which is not the case of a multi-engine uh, system. And the simplest form of such approach is this is this kind. It is the one engine that produces all actions on its own. If you can see that if you consider this case, the engine will receive the, uh, the, the state of the whole system and uh, perform the action to control the whole system just by itself. But there's a very uh, clear limitation is that is if the action if there are many actions the com the control problem will be we have a dimensionally dimensionality curves so in this case the the solution to this problem may not maybe not effective anymore so there are two solutions basically there are basically two solutions to solve this problem the first is the factorization on policy that is the engine's policies are independent so unlike this case the actions will affect each other in this case they, they, they the observation may overlap but their action is actually uh, performed by their by each engine itself and they have a uh, uh, one goal to achieve. Another is the factorization on value function. It, it, it is that uh, there does the single one goal is decomposed into multiple goals for each engine in some uh, in some loops. So in this way, the engine each engine can pursue its own goal, but this but the, this the goal the summation of this goal can result in the final uh, optimate, optimal goal, uh, optimate goal. 
So it is another another solution to uh, decompose the joint policy into multiple independent policies. So you can so on one hand you can reduce the uh, dimension of the problem. On the other hand, the the optimization algorithm is more uh, straightforward. Well, the major problem of this part of this solution is that first few of them consider interactions between engines as you can see that if you have if you implement the factorization the the engine uh, may have uh, have local uh, policies or local observation or, or local value function that is that is the the omega interaction the other is that such consideration is only applied in discrete action case Yes, there are, there are actually some uh, studies uh, on joint policy that consider interactions among engines, but they only focus on this creation case. But in most cases, the problem is uh, the problem is about continuous action case because the control can be uh, any real value instead of some discrete numbers. So the in this paper, the author suggests that the humans can reason about others' behaviors or know other people's intentions through communication, and then determine an effective coordination plan. That is, that is in a multi-engine system, each engine should note what other engines will do, and then uh, perform its own policy. That's that's a very uh, real scenario and it, it is it can be uh, it, it is a, it is a natural and intuitive idea and the major challenge to achieve this intuition is that how to decide a mechanism of such interaction in a principal way and at the same time solve the large-scale real-world applications so this paper is uh, is ma mainly want to uh, fix with tra these changes based on this uh, merely creative intuition. Now let's come to the methodology. Before we dive into the methodology, let's come to the basic knowledge about the reinforcement learning. At, at first, for the control problem, at first you have an initial state and then based on this state, you have an action and the system will evolve into an, uh, the next state. That's the just like a Markov decision process. And then you continue to uh, perform action based on current, uh, current uh, state and then move to another state. Then you will have a whole trajectory. That's the what the engines uh, experience. And the problem the probability of such tragedy tra tra for a policy pi can be formulated as this. It is very straightforward. This is the probability of the initial uh, 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 state. And this is the policy which, which uh, indicates the probability of each action at, uh, at a, a current state. So uh, this, uh, this layer uh, uh, Bayesian network, Bayesian network like uh, probability calculation, and we and we can and given the probability of such trajectory, we would like to know what is the optimal trajectory and what is the what is is pro the prob probability. In order to achieve this, the, we we can introduce additional variable O to indicate whether current step is optimal step. If, it, if, if, the, if the engine arrives at this state and at this state the, the, the step, the corresponding step is optimal, then the O it will, will, uh, will equals to 1. Otherwise, it equals to 0. So the relative probability of, of each step, of whether each step is optimal step, can be modeled using a remote signal. That is, at, at time step t, when, when we uh, when we do action AT given the state XT, the probability of uh, this step is optimal is uh, pro pro proportional to the probability 
up to the exponential function of a reward signal. I think it's a very that, that's the uh, pro, uh the Bayesian inference is the probability probabilistic uh, reinforcement learning view. And then with the, with this form, we can form the probability of such trajectory follow optimal policy. That is, we replace the the policy of the engine with the reward signal, and then and then the the and then the probability of this trajectory trajectory is an uh, optimal trajectory is is this is this one. So so. At this, at, at so at this time step, so at, at so right now we can we can uh, have a objective. It is that we want to uh, minimize the KL divergence between these two distributions, because this is the optimal so, uh, optimal trajectory, and it is and and they and this trajectory obeys this distribution. And if if the policy the engine uh, adopt also uh, intro, also uh, results in structural distribution, then this policy will be an optimal policy, and this policy will be the will be the will be the the one that engine will actually use to control the system in application. So how to uh, how to get this policy? That's the major problem. So the proposed method of this paper is that we, we will uh, divide it into multiple steps. So the first is that what is optimal policy in the propo proposed method? Actually, the optimal policy is the, is the policy that can match the distribution of trajectory in the optimal policy, uh, uh, optimal trajectory distribution. So in order to uh, match with this idea in this paper, the proposed method will uh, do the following steps. The first is that what is optimal policy? In this paper, the the, the author uh, model the engine in la, the multiple engine with the network Markov decision process. The the blue dot is the engine, and they have relationship with each other. It's very natural because in a multi-engine system, each engine will have a relationship to each other to some extent, right? They no matter uh, no matter how far they are or how unless uh, or how, how no matter how far they are, they maybe have some, may have some inter uh, uh, relationship. And the most the, the simplest way to uh, Illustrate this structural relationship is, is the neighborhood relationship. That is, if the engines are connected to each other directly, then they have a, then they have a relation. Otherwise, there's not. So, so uh, if, if this in, if this if into intuition, the the optimal part the optimal policy can be. Uh, Divided in the in the in in in, in multiple components in the in the form of reward signal. If we define the reward of each engine depends on its own state and action as well as actions of its neighbors. That is, this is the optimal policy that I mentioned before for trajectory. And for the multi-engine case, this reward can be uh, decomposed into uh, multiple sub goals, and if this if for for each engine i if the if their their reward is related to their neighborhoods, then the relationship is established. So we can transform the the traditional optimal parasitic distribution to a. a Parasitic distribution in the case of multi-engine reinforcement learning. The major difference is that this part is decomposed into uh, multiple parts in regards to the number of engines. So how do we solve this problem? 
this there's there's a KL divergence minimization problem just mentioned before, and as you can see, this is the uh, optimal parse distribution, and this is the uh, the, the parsing that the engine is adopted is adopted, and we, we can form it as this uh, KL divergence problems and. You can see that there is a subjective because for each state, for each engine at each state, they have a, the, the, the action probability, the summation of action probability should equals to 1. And then we can uh, solve this problem with constraint and we can use a Lagrangian Lagrange multi multiplier solution and this is very easy to uh, derive the optimal policy for the engines to achieve is this is in this form. So, so in in theory, in, in theory this is the uh, solution of the multi-engine reinforcement learning optimal policy. And to take a step further, we can normalize by z to get the the real proper probability. So the so so we have this so in this form we can uh, we can notice that the optimal policy is in the form of Markov random field because the the probability is about each about the engine itself and the en and the relationship between each between and any engines and each engine is only affected by its direct neighbors thus. We can reduce parsing space to search compare it to fully connected graph. So right now we have a we have a solution to optimal parsing and we reg and a structural parsing is in the form of Markov random field, and that is the form of the parsing. And then how do we sample the joint actions from this parsing? Because it is not a traditional distribution like um, uh, reinforcement like uh, traditional reinforcement. Now it is a, a Markov random field. So how do we sample joint actions from such a Markov random field? Actually, it, 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 it we can use them. Uh, uh, we can approximate optimal policy through the mean field approximation, and uh, that is the application of a variational inference. Because we have uh, formulated the optimal policy in the form of a Markov random field, so we can use solution. We can solve. We can uh, decompose the Markov random field into multiple independent uh, probability uh, prob distributions, and the solution is implemented via variational inference for each engine. The it, the part the, the policy distribution is is proportional to this uh, this form this formula. It is uh, if you can um, adopt the variational inference method that this this solution is very uh, easy to derive. And then actually this is this is the the action. Uh, other than the target engine we thought we want to derive policy right now. Now, now we can consider the peerwise case. This is the very simple case of Markov random field. We, we can restrict the par parameterization on H. In this case, the, uh, the, op the optimal Markov random field policy is in this form. And if we uh, plot this into this uh, formula, then we, have, we will have the policy distribution for each engine in this form. And and with this and and from this we we have a, a single distribution for each engine, so we can perform the uh, actions sample. We, we can sample the actions. And as you can see from this part, we can see, we can see that the engines policy depend on others. So the method suggests that they have considered the the 
interactions among engines. So, in, so how do we perform updating algorithm? Because it is uh, not a traditional distribution for each single engine. Instead, the author model the policy of all the engines in a single new network or as a Markov random field framework. That is, this is the, in, for example, in this case, there are six engines, their policies is uh, connect is interacting with, with each other in the form of Markov random field. And and they directly use such they name this as an intention network because the policy of each engine will uh, propo, 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 propagate to the to uh, the connected ones. So it's it is there is connection and this is a Markov random field framework. So how do we do the update? Before before we update to the update procedure, we should model the policy in the network. So the first step is that we mod they, they model policy feature based on state and other policies. For example, the before they derive the the, the policy distribution of each engine X de depends on a policy, a policy feature. This feature can be uh, calculated based on a new network in this form. This is the actuator function, this is the weight matrix, this is the state the engine observed, and, it, and this is the part of the uh, policy feature from its connected engines. And then from this policy features, they use another function to map to map these embedded features to the distribution. By this two step, each engine can can grab their own distribution based on the the information from others. That's that's the global network to produce features of each other, and then the features of, of each other is take a photo step to produce the and the policy for each engine. And at each time step, M iterations need to be implemented in order to perform subtract intention propagation because, because if, if you want to get the actions of each engine, you should let each engine to know the information from each other. From each other. So they should implement uh, M iteration inter 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 to uh, finish this procedure. At iteration zero, engines embed policy without knowledge. That is, at 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 a, at a every at the very beginning, the engine only only have have the uh, have access to its own observation, and there is there is no information from any other engines. And then and at the beginning, they have the uh, parser feature only based on the uh, observation state, and then from iteration one to n, we they have the they begin to have information from others, and they should implement multiple steps to uh, replicate this procedure and to gather to to uh, implement the intention propagation uh, procedure. But the number of they, they point out that the number of iteration is small. But I am I, I just wonder how to determine such a number because this is a very a new uh, procedure that the engine that, that the authors uh, want to introduce to uh, introduce in this framework. And th and this number is just like a hyperparameter. It I, it is it it. Uh, it writes me some confusion, and then they can. And from the this is the same. This is actually the the detailed sample procedure. So after craft the sample in each time step, we can have an experience in a buffer. So in so during trade procedure, they just uh uh use the samples in a buffer to uh, to solve the following three uh, optimization problems. The first is the state value estimation, the second is the state action value function, and third is the policy. 
this is a traditional um, a proper basic reinforcement learning objective function that you can have the have you can read in uh, the paper proposed before so i don't want to take a further step to this solution so that's the that's so that's all thank you for watching